Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's study. And uh, it's nice to see some old familiar faces back. And um, before we begin, can you join me in a word of prayer? Uh, dear Father in heaven, we are so grateful for what you do in our lives and um, the work that you do upon our hearts. We know, Lord, that there's so much that we need to learn and that there's so much of self in what we do. And we know, Lord, that uh, we need to yield ourselves to you and your leading and that we need to trust that you are in control of all things. Thank you for the things you've been teaching us uh, that direct us to your hand in our lives, in this movement, and in the events of this world. And we just pray, Lord, that as we open your word together, that your Holy Spirit can speak to us and continue to teach us. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good morning again, everyone. So um, yesterday, uh, we started getting, well, I should say, I started getting a little bit confused. It was too much, too many dates. And uh, so, you know, this is, uh, so so many dates, it was really sweet. But uh, we needed to put these things together. And so that's what I've been doing since the study yesterday. So right after the study, I started looking at some of these numbers and dates that we had and and, uh, and I added them to the comments in the video or the description in the video, which uh, I guess, you know, the way way to look at that is it, it's important that I put them there yesterday because uh, two of our lines, Desert Shield and Desert Storm, or, or Operation Desert Shield, or, or Operation Desert Storm. And uh, I know I have an Operation Desert Shield somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I didn't put everything in here yet. So this is a lot of information. Um, what I will look at first is what's on the video, what I had put on the video. So let me see. I'd like to make it bigger, but okay. I guess that's the best I can do. So it's probably tiny for some people's devices. But connecting George Bush, the first to George Bush, the second, we use that word consumed, H3615. Uh, and if we count uh, an inclusive count of 3,615 days, if we go from the end of the Gulf War, and that's going to be um, February 15th, 1989, it brings us to the inauguration of George Bush II. So we have uh, – now, there's a lot of stuff in that history because we know there's going to be uh, the 9-11-1990 speech. That's the New World Order speech of the Joint Session of Congress. I put that in there. I don't have any things connected to it. You can see that 9-11-1990 there. But it's in this history of George Bush in the time of the Soviet-Afghan War Right. So it's connected to this Soviet Afghan war. The end of it is three thousand six hundred and fifteen days to January 20th, 2001. Right. So that's going to be George Bush, uh, the second. Right. So George Bush senior and junior are connected by this consumed. Now, that word consumed really means, um, you know, to bring an end to something to accomplish something. So we think of consumed as like burning something up. So I don't think consumed is the best word unless you use it in a very old-fashioned sense of the word, right? So anyway, we had that 3,615 days. Now, then I started looking at, and we, we looked at Desert Storm. So uh, we had seen Desert Storm by just taking the Hebrew words desert and, and storm. Now, there's lots of different words for storm, um, but one of them is, let me see here. So I don't know why I don't have that note, and I just got to make sure I'm doing this right. So when we look at the word storm, now I think that should be the word. Uh, I think I did something wrong there in what I typed out, because I don't think that that's the word storm. Uh, I think that's shield. Yeah, so the word shield is 4043. So I just did a typo there. So desert shield. 
might have got these ones mixed up. So if I so there's Operation Desert Shield. Uh, so this should be Shield, not Storm. So if I add those two together, Desert and Shield four zero four three, I get this one zero two zero three. So we talked about how that's first, second, and third angels' messages backwards. It's three twenty one, so it can represent the Sunday Law. Different symbols there, but if we go to August eleventh. And you count from August 11th, it will bring you to July 18. Now that's going to be 28 years, right? So it's going to be uh, 28 years apart, if I'm getting that right. So 28 years less, right? So less basically a month, right? So the number 10203 uh, divided by 365 ends up being Oh, pardon me, 27 years, so 28 years, and it's almost 28 years, 27 years, and 341 days, it's basically 23, 24 days. Okay, sort of makes sense there. So that that uh, desert shield. Now, that's the first part of that Gulf War. So the Gulf War has two aspects. The first is Operation Desert Shield. And that's going to go from August 2nd, 1990 to January 17th, 1991, a period of 168 days, right? And then you're going to have uh, whatever it is, 42 days or something for Operation Desert Storm, right? So all of us old people here, we remember this, right? This is part of our, our collective memory. Of course, people who were, you know, born in the 1990s wouldn't remember any of this, right? Um, you know, going through it, even probably in the mid 80s. I'm sure my oldest son, Matt, born in 81, probably remembers it. So you have to be a bit older to remember this stuff. But this was, of course, this Gulf War. So Kuwait was invaded by Iraq. And then we had George Bush Sr. And he's going to make, in connection with what's happening there, these new world order statements, right? So he's going to talk about this new world order of peace, right? And he makes a number of these statements in different situations. And the first one is going to be the joint session of Congress on uh, September 11th, 1990. So the significance of that date as a symbol is is pretty important, right? Uh, some conspiracy theorists say, you know, the fact that it happened on that date and 9-11 happened, you know, in 2001, you know, um, you know, 11 years later that that was somehow, you know, orchestrated in that way. Maybe in God's providence, but not by man. Right. So I don't think anybody cared about, you know, who, who flew the planes into the World Trade Center about the date. And, and I don't think that date was chosen for that reason. But anyway, now, so with this Gulf War, we have another phrase. So this is, if we take Operation Desert Storm, and I'm just trying to figure out what, what I did there. Desert, Operation, Operation Desert. I just don't understand my math. So we got Desert Shield. Okay, that's 4057, I see. Okay, so now we have Operation Desert Storm. Now we have two different but we actually have more than two different words for storm in the Hebrew Bible. Uh, but if we take the one that's in Daniel 11, verse 41, where it talks about a whirlwind, right? So in Daniel 11, um, it's verse 40, Daniel 11, verse 40. And the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, right? So it's going to use this word 8175. Right. So this 8175, this number, if we add it to um, and we add to it the word operation. So we have the word storm, 8175, the word desert, 4043, and the word operation, 4369. And, and there's, th I think, like five or six times this word operation, uh, which is really related to the word operation that we have, like an op a military operation. Right. It's it's the act of somebody doing something, God's operations, working on the earth and so forth. So 
It's the only word we have for operation in the King James. So I took that one. I took the one there. We get 16,857 days. Now, there's two different ways that I could count it. So, so Rand says 16,601. I don't know what. Uh, well, because you have the shield and desert numbers swapped around. Is that what it is? So, um, so I got these. Yeah, I know, I knew I did. I must have done something wrong. So the word shield is 4043. The word desert is 4057, right? Uh, yeah, I knew I did something wrong. I did this really quick the other day. So 4057 is desert. Okay. Four zero. And you can see why I get 457 and 43 mixed up, right? Because they, they add to up to 100. Okay. So that's better. And then shield is 43. There we go. So that one would work out. But this one now, so when we add that together, 4, 3, 6, 9 plus. Okay, so you're saying it's 16,601. So I did a mistake there, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, that's what I added them up to, at least. Okay, so so I got a mis I have a mistake. Well, that's not good. So that difference is going to be 24, right? So that means I would have to say uh, Operation Shield and Storm, right? If I wanted to get this one. Okay, so maybe I'll do it this way. Because I still think this is valid. So operations shield and storm. I don't know why I always forget the D and the word shield. So if we do that, um, so shield is four zero. So that will add up to that, right? Is that correct? Okay, so maybe we're gonna find something else too. I'm trying to do this right. Okay. So so if we have operation shield and storm, right? That that is I'm taking two different definitions of storm and I'm using shield in there. So that would be 16,005. You got 587. So I did something wrong again. That doesn't make sense. It looks like it might just be a typo because you have two numbers transposed. Which numbers? The five and the eight. Okay. Where's this? Um, the 16,587 days so that should be man my dyslexia when it comes to numbers is frustrating so you're saying that this should be 16,587 that's what that should be if I do it that way yeah when I added those up that's what I got okay. so so I'm doing something wrong <laughs> so we're gonna have to correct this now remember even if I do something dyslexic it's still important Right, because I've done lots of dyslexic dyslexic things before that ended up giving us symbols. But I want to get this right. So, um, so if we do that, sixteen thousand five hundred and eighty-seven, what would that give us? So let's do it this way. Oh, I wish I would have had this all correct. So that's going to be forty-five years times three sixty-five point two five plus one hundred and fifty days. Okay. So we're going to have to figure that out. Okay. So, well, let's, let's go back. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go back and, and, and keep my mistakes. Okay. So, so if I keep my mistakes in here, I ended up with this 16,857, which is wrong. So it's wrong on two accounts. I'm using the wrong word for desert and I'm using the wrong, uh, uh, addition, right? So even if I use the word desert as 4043, which it isn't, it's 4057, uh, I would get 16,587, not 16,857, right? But this still yields this, uh, these numbers. Okay. And. So let's take a look at this. So we have this date. So if we go back to Desert Shield, this one is correct though, right? It, it's just that I inverted these ones. So this one should have been Desert. 
57, and this one should have been shield 43, right? So that number still is correct, right, Iran? Yeah, the first number would still be correct. Okay. Now, that's going to go from, as we noted, from the end of the Afghan war to yesterday. And we also have from the end of the Afghan war to January 20th, 2001. So we have these two dates connected by the same uh, starting point. Now, we can say that we have another witness for yesterday's study, but that is an incorrect number. That is, I put Operation Desert Storm, uh, but that number, if I had the right number for desert and I had the right uh, um, iteration of these numbers, it would actually be 16,587. Yeah, if you were doing shield and storm together. Well, that's shield you did, and it, Yeah, it just gives you the same set of digits, right? Okay, so wrong, wrong word and wrong order of digits. So that's what we're going to have here. So we have wrong word and the wrong order of digits. But with the wrong word and the wrong order of digits, I came to yesterday's study all the way back to Jeff's 26th birthday. And then I took August 13th, 1984, with the same wrong word and wrong order of digits. And I could go to the symbolic date of August 13th, 1984, uh, to October 8th, 2030. So what does this tell us? Uh, you know, this typo, me making a mistake, but yet it, it working out in this way, right? And both of these connect to, um, like, to symbolic dates, right? So obviously uh, the 10th day of the 10th month in 2030, right, 187 days from April 5th, 2030. October 8th is a symbolic date without predicting anything there. Um, and then I have Jeff's birthday, which we already have as a symbol, and it's his 26th birthday. That's half of 52, right? Um, so that's his 26th birthday. And then you're going to have to the study yesterday. So what does that tell us? So we could interpret this different ways. We could say, well, you know, the fact that we got something right doing something wrong shows that, you know, anything's possible and it doesn't really mean anything. Right. Uh, it would be a witness that what we're doing is a bunch of nonsense. OK. Is that a reasonable uh, explanation? Some people might think that's the best explanation. Any or thoughts? That, that unseen hand is guiding the unseen mind there. <laughs> OK, so so we're, we're supposed to notice something. Right. Now, do mistakes Apparent mistakes occur in the Bible or in the writings of the Spirit of Prophecy. Uh, yes, they. That we've we've come across a few of those where it looks like mistakes, but there aren't really. Yeah, so you know, Jehoiachin being anointed in his eighth year and his eighteenth year, right? So people just say, "Well, it was a mistake." So we're gonna just, you know. Um, say that it was a typo or Ellen White having September 23rd it, when the Lord showed her that God would uh, reach out his hand the second time to gather his people right that's actually October 23rd it's not September 3rd so so there's something about what was hap what's been happening in this movement and what happened yesterday wouldn't and that, wouldn't that be I'm sorry, wouldn't it be a mistake on our part, not that? that? A mistake on our part? Yeah. Our, our mis, mis, misunderstanding it. Right. So that means, so that means even though we misunderstand it, it's still it don't mean it's a mistake. Though, does it? it don't mean it's a mistake. It just means that we just misunderstood it. Right. But it's, well, it's still a mistake. We made a mistake, but it does give us something. It gives us some information. Now, um, so the difference between one six 
875, right? That's the number I have, or 857. 16857 minus 16601. Uh, the difference is 256 days. Now, is 256 significance? I would think that it does have significance. Okay, what is it? Well, it's a doubling of 128. So it's, and that's a doubling of 64. So it. Yeah, 64, 32, 16, right. 4, 2, right. 2 and 2 and 4, 4 and 4, 4 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, right? Just doubling uh, a number, right? So it has a significance there as a symbol. Okay. Now, so we do have a correct uh, number that we should be able to use. So I'm just going to copy this and then um, I'm just going to duplicate it, I guess. I'll do that. So this is a duplicate. I'm not, not going to get rid of the other one. Um, this is a new one that we're going to work on. So we do have symbols here that we can then address, right? That is, we have a, ha an actual span of time. So we're going to co correct this. So this is going to be this number, right? So it's going to be 587, 16,587. And then um, this one would still be, uh, let me see, was this one correct or not? Because I might have just, you know, typed in these wrong. So, so the desert storm where I use 4369 plus 4057 plus 1417. Plus five four nine two, so that one gives me uh, thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighteen. So I'm going to be off again. So this one doesn't work. This one here. So this one we're going to have to have thirteen thousand nine hundred and eighteen. So we're going to have to find out where these actually fit. I guess is what what we're saying. If they do fit anywhere, this one's correct. These ones are. 16,000. Okay, so what ended up happening with this one here, Operation Desert Storm? What was the total on this one? You're saying it was 16,601, right, Iran? Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So this, this just means I should not work on my own. I really need you guys. <laughs> okay, so 60, and then this one's going to be uh, 13,918. So if you can, somebody can check that math. So that means we should have spans of time that are different than what we have here. Okay, so if we're going to count, let me think how we would do that. So if we counted back from uh, this, the day of the study yesterday, instead of going to Jeff's birthday, this would go to uh, July 18, 78. So this is going to be 16,601. So that's one thing we could do. We could just take that and we could say, well, let's count from yesterday's study back and it's going to give us July 18th, 1978. Now, would that be significant as a symbol? What was that number again? Oh, pardon me. So that, pardon me. And that's not going to today's date. That's going to go to the date where Jeff um, so I got to change that. Uh, pardon me. So that's going to go to 12, uh, 30, 23, right? So remember this date, Jeff speaks. Let me put it this way. Okay. So it's going back to this date. Um, so it's going to go all the way back to Ju July 18, 1978 and not from yesterday's study, but from the date that Jeff spoke. And that date is going to be 1260 days from July 18th, 2020. Okay. So it's going to tie together two different July 18th. So here we're just going to go July 18, 2020. And that's going to be 1260 days. Okay. Does, does that make sense then that we can tie this number to, to this date? What are you going to do with 11-9-2019?
nothing. I'm not doing anything with it. It's just, it's just there for now. So, so we can say when Jeff speaks, it's going to be 1260 days after July 18, 2020. And remember, we, we've just been talking about Jeff speaking because that was on Sabbath. So we had that we talked about it on January 1st and we talked about it yesterday, right? But now we can take that word Operation Desert Storm and we can count 16,601 days back to July 18, 1978. So from 1978 uh, to 2020 is how many years? 22, isn't it? So for 42 years, right? So you got 42 years there as a symbol. And that's a significant number. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's 15,340 and a half days between those two. But, but I think that's significant. So we can say that that, that Operation Desert Storm as a symbol uh, brings us to something that we're presently studying. Because what, what we're dealing with right now, what we're, what we're grappling with is what Jeff had said on Sabbath, right? That we can't use the symbolic dates and numbers, uh, and place them in our lines. Now we agree we can't time set. So we can't predict what's going to happen in the future. We can have symbolic dates in the future, but they don't tell us uh, what's going to happen. Now, um, we also have another period that we're going to see if we can do anything with. So this is 6, 16,601 days. Um, now, if we just counted back from the 10th day of the 10th month in 2020 or 2030, pardon me. So if we went to that October 8th date and we counted, you know, 16,000. 601 backwards. It, it's just going to bring us to October. No, that didn't work. Um, pardon me. Minus 16,601. Now that brings us to April 26, 1985. Now April 26th, of course, is a symbol and, and it brings us back into that history. Now that's going to be the history around the times when we're dealing with Pope John Paul. Uh, meeting Reagan, right? So that's Rome exalting itself to establish the vision. So, so we could say, well, that, that looks like a significant date. So 1990 to 1991 was the, uh, was the Kuwait War, right? Uh, 1990 to 1991. Yeah. That was the Kuwait yeah, War. The Gulf War is August 2nd, 1990 to February 20th. 28th, 1991. Operation Desert Shield is from August 2nd, 1990 to January 17th, 1991. And Operation Desert Storm is from January 17th, 1991 to February 28th, 1991. So that, that's going to be 42 days. So we have this 42 days for Operation Desert Storm. So another symbol of 42 there. Do you um, put the 42 in between those two numbers? I could, yeah. So we'll do it this way. And then we also have uh, the other one's 168, right? So the number of hours in a week. And together that was what, uh, 210 days? Yeah, so 210 days altogether. I guess I could put shield and storm in there, but I probably don't have enough room. But that's Operation Desert Shield. I guess I could do it this way. We'll call it Operation Desert Shield and... Operation Desert Storm. Now, okay, so um, so let's deal with another 16,601 days. Now, we could just, um, we could find some date in 1984 that's going to reach to some other date. We could go back to some other event, you know, so it's hard to say. So we're going to have a shorter period of time. You know, the one of the dates we have is... Um, the start of this war in 1979. I mean, so we could go back, back here, uh, the Soviet Afghan war. So December 12th or December 24th, 1979. Right. So that's going to be uh, an important date. 
And if we count 16,601, where does that bring us? It brings us to June 6, 2025. So it brings us to some future date, but it doesn't really have any significance. We also have, in 1979, we have the first meeting of John Paul, and that's going to be October 6th. Did you have something to say, Ron? No. You just said the first meeting of John Paul. First meeting of John Paul with Reagan? No, with uh, Carter. Right, that's October 6th, 1979, I believe. Now, we could have, um, so what other date could we use? I mean, we've used Jeff's birthday in 77. We know Jeff was converted in 1977, but do we have anything, any other date that we could go back to? I mean, we've got the symbolic date of July 18, 1978. So we already have the 16,601 days. Well, we get an, another interesting date. So if we go instead of from October 8th, we're going to use the the other date that we have in, uh, so that's going to be April 5th, 2030, right? So this is the first day, the first month. And we counted back 16,601 days. We come to this date. Is that significant? And what would this tell us as symbols? So we have two spans of 16,601 days. One goes from when Jeff speaks. And is he going to speak against April, uh, April 5th, 2030 date? Does Jeff speak against April 5th, 2030? Roundabout way he does. Well, I don't know if it's roundabout. He mentions it, doesn't he? That's my understanding is that he mentions 2030. All I heard him mention was uh, um, 168 times 16. June 21. Okay. So just hang on a sec here. That was me talking in the background. I just opened up the video. Okay. So I don't see him saying in the video that I have, I don't see him saying anything specifically about 2030. Did you search that document? Two zero space three zero. Not yet. <laughs> so I'm searching it and yeah, 2020 to 2024 mentioned. Yeah, I know sometimes things don't show up. I, I've noticed inside the, uh, the, the, uh, whatever it is when they write it out for you, that auto read yeah. that it has a tendency of when it, when, it, when we say, Numbers uh, like 2030, it, it'll have 20 and then a space and then 30. Okay. The portion I listened to, I didn't hear him say nothing about 2030, but I did hear him say something about the 168 times 16. Right. So he's going to talk, which is dealing with, yeah, but how did he say that? He said, he said some people have taken the 168 and put it off into the future. Right. Something so that, that to me, yeah. Okay. So I don't think that's on my recording. So when he takes the 168 and putting it off in the future, he's talking about the 2,688 days for the ex uh, additional extension of time. So he must know about that. Okay. So I can't find it on my document. Uh, but the idea here is that uh, Jeff is going to speak here and he's going to address this date indirectly. So he's going to speak about 16 times 168. Is that, is he going to mention 16 times 168? Uh, no, he just mentions his 168 and they take it and they take it and they put it off into the future. That to me told me that he was talking about the 2030. Okay. Okay. So, so it's possibly that's what he's talking about. So Jeff is going to speak. It's going to go back to July 18th. So we know he's rejecting July 18th. And this Operation Desert Storm speaks to that symbol, right? But it also speaks to October 22, 1844. And we connect these two together. This is the disappointment in 1844. This is the disappointment in 2020. Does that make sense? Okay. So, so these numbers right now at this time for this movement are tel helping us understand First off, we make mistakes. That is, we have to be corrected. That is, our understanding is incomplete. 
but it witnesses to what happened on the 30th of December. Now, we have uh, the Gulf War and the Soviet-Afghan War already in understanding Daniel chapter 11, right? So we've already been addressing these, uh, these wars. And, and they are symbols that relate, because what we're studying right now is Daniel chapter 11, verse 16, right? That's, and, and we're starting to move on past that. So we did 14, 15, 16, the beginning of Rome. And now we start looking at these, these wars again, because we looked at the Soviet-Afghan war in connection with Greece and Persia, right? So we had these symbols, uh, the rise of Greece, the Soviet-Afghan war. We have the presidents of the United States. We have, uh, and we also looked at Pope John Paul. So Rome exalts itself to establish the vision. Pope John Paul II is, um, Rome comes into play prior to the time of the end in 1989, right? So we can see in all of this history, we have these symbolic numbers that we get. Now, now to use Operation Desert Storm, we actually have other iterations of it, right? So one is we have 13,918. So that's using a different word for storm. And there's actually a, a few different ones. There's 5491 uh, can be used and 54, I think 55, five, right? So there's a few different variations of that word storm that are given different strong numbers. Uh, but we're just going to look at the 13,918, right? So I got that count correct, right, Iran? 13,918, and we had started that from, so we're going to have to change what it says at the top, right? But for now, we're just going to look at this number. Now, so 13,918 is, of course, quite a bit, a smaller span of time than 16,000. Yeah, I got the same number. Yeah, so yeah, and then divide that by 365.25. Now that's going to be 38 years and 38 days. Now, if we're going to put 38 years in here somewhere, so one thing we know 38 years is, is less than 40 years. So, I mean, if we started in, let's say. Hey, Theodore. Yeah. They, um, the probably reason why you didn't have it on the transcript was because when they got through with the lesson, they probably didn't add on what was said after that well and i just got it from iran so what he recorded so i don't know how much of it he recorded yeah so there's probably reason is, is it, it was probably yeah. yeah it's probably not on what i have i don't have a, a very much of that study so if i'm going to go back to dates um so let's let's just try some of these dates so i'll show you what i'm doing here okay so so dates that we could look at so that war is going to start in 1990, and that's going to be on August 2nd. And if I count 13,918, it's going to bring me to September 9th, 2028. So you can see if I'm if I'm looking at that history, it's going to bring me in to these later dates, right? Now, if I go back to something like 1979, um, and I go to October 6th, so that's going to be the first meeting with, uh, that's going to be Jimmy Carter meeting the Pope. You know, that's going to bring me to November 13th, 2017, right? So it's going to bring us into this history. Um, if I'm going to go to uh, the war that's going to start in 1979, that's going to be the Soviet-Afghan War. That's going to be December 24th. That's going to bring me to January 31st, right? I could go to the end of that war. The war is going to end in February 15th, 1989. But again, that's going to bring me further into our history, right? So it's going to be quite a bit later. That's going to bring us into 2027, March 26th, 2027. So we do have other dates that we were looking at. So we have quite a few dates dealing with, well, not quite a few. We have a few dates dealing with, I'm just trying to see here where these are. Okay. So we're going to have um, 
Ronald Reagan, he's going to meet on June 7th, 1982. So if we go to 1982, we go to June 7th. So that's the first time he's going to meet. And we go 13,918. That's going to be, bring us to July 15th, 2020. So it's, it's just a few days short of July 18th. Now the word we're using for storm here is 5492, right? So we have 5492. We could have used 5584. That's another word for storm. Um, so it's going to give us like another 90 days or whatever. We have a 5591, so that's one shorter. We have 2230, which uh, I address somewhere else. I don't know where that is. Okay, and then we have, um, so that's another word, 2230. And then we have 8178. So, so we got these little variations, 9492. Um, again, we also have a word uh, used by Ezekiel, which is uh, 7722. So that's another number. So, so we have more options, but um, I don't know if I'm totally comfortable just finding like all these, these options. Maybe we have to do that. We have to be thorough. So we got May 2nd, 84. We have June 6th, 87. September 10th, 87. So we have these other dates, right? and we could look at those. What about the May 2nd, 84, if we counted the 13,918 from there? So let's try that. That was May 2nd. It's going to give me June 10th, 2022. Not significant. We also have uh, the other date was... June 6th, 87, September 7th, 10th, 87. Gives me October 18th, 2025. So I don't know what to do with that number at this point. I did want to look at this other one. And so 16,961, what's that? Uh, that's the form of the 2520 because it's seven times the 360th prime. So you just want me to look at that number? Now, I sent you a little bit earlier that when Jeff was speaking, it was there's a time span potentially that ends that day. It's a twenty five twenty. Okay, so because it starts uh, on July twenty three, which is referring like it's so, symbolically so seven twenty three, which is the first twenty five twenty nine hundred and sixty one, right? Yeah, 16,961 is that number seven times the 360th prime. Okay, well, that goes to July 23rd, 1977. Yeah, and the first 2520 starts in 723. Okay. Yeah, it's still kind of tenuous. I mean, it would have been nice if it went to, um, you know, July 18, 1977 or something. Yeah, I, I still think there's something about that, that number, the 16961, that we would have to look at. That it does relate to a span of time, just where I don't know. So what I want to do is I want to look at another span of time, and this is using the word for storm that's um, two two three zero. So um, and that one you would find in like Isaiah twenty five, Ezekiel thirty eight nine. Uh, no, it's not in Ezekiel thirty eight nine. It's in uh, yeah, it's mostly in Isaiah. So this 2230, this word for storm. It's a ream storm, tempest, flood, overflowing showers. It occurs in Isaiah 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Habakkuk once and Job once. It's in Isaiah 3030. 30. In, in Isaiah 3030, 30, uh, the Lord shall cause the glorious voice to be heard and shall show the lightning down of his arm with indignation of his anger and the flame of devouring fire with scattering, with tempest, it translates it as tempest, and hailstones. So sometimes it's translated to tempest, sometimes storm. Isaiah 4, verse 6, there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat 
and a place of refuge and a covert from storm and from rain. So that word storm there is 2230. So when I add that to uh, Operation Desert, I get the number uh, 10,656, which is, is a period of uh, 29 years and 64 days, 63.75. Now, so when we do that, we look at, um, we know that the anniversary that we have mostly for the 29 years is if we go to uh, 2019. And so if I subtracted this uh, 10,656, they bring me to, to September 6, 1990, right? Now, it's going to be on September 11th, 1990, that we're going to have that New World Order speech. So it's like five days off, right? So, you know, I'm not going to count it as significant. Now, in so in this period of time, and, you know, if we go like 1991, we go to the end of that um, history, December 25th, 776 days. That's going to bring me to February 26, 2021. So it doesn't bring me to a significant date. But we do have other other dates. We have the end of the war, right, in 1989. That's February 15th. Brings me to April 20th, 2018. Um, other dates that we have in that history, uh, we have uh, that, well, that January 17th, we have you know, um, 1990, we got August 2nd, brings me to October 5th, 2019. Uh, we have in 1991, whoops, we're going to have um, January 17th. It's going to bring me to March 21st, 2020, right? So there's nothing that really matches anything at this point. And and I'm not totally comfortable just saying, okay, I'm going to just keep matching dates until I find something matching, right? I do a little bit of that because what I want to match is significant dates that we already have. So, so this is going to have to be reworked. Um, but I want to have these dates that are – Tying things together for our interpretation of this, this passage. So, so I think we needed to go through that exercise, but I don't think that that's the best way to do things. Now we do have, you know, uh, I'm going to go here, show you this document. So we do have all of these new world order speeches, you know, and we could look through these and we could, you know, try to match up some of these. Obviously this first one, September 11th, 1990. Now, there is a mistaken one of September 11th, 1991, which is actually on, where is it? Uh, about this, yeah, um, January, September 19th, 1990. So, um, September 11th. doesn't look like I have all of them here. Because I thought there was one that's, oh, yeah, because it's mistakenly placed in 1991, but I don't see it here. So people place it on September 11th, but it's in 1991. But there is actually another speech. Um, for some reason, it's not in this document. So um, I must have another copy of this document. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to Daniel chapter 11 and see what we've been doing. So... We, you know, we, we sometimes take these little rabbit trails and, and sometimes they yield interesting results. Sometimes they don't, but we're just going to go over what we understand about these verses. So we're saying that Rome exalts itself to establish the vision. We have all kinds of symbols that are, that are used here that affirms what we already understand about the historical application and how we apply it to our time, right? So we're going to have um, in those times, right? So that those times are going to be um, connected from 9-11 to April 10, 2024, right? 
And we have Jeff's summary of the 391.5 in, in that period from the 6256 to October 28th, 2018, and the connection to November 9th, 2019, right? So, so that symbol there. Um, now, during the fifth, uh, the fifth Syrian war, we're saying that this is the Soviet Afghan war. It's a period of 3,341 days. And there shall many, so the word many yields, um, if we um, uh, take that as the span of time, we can go from April 5th, 2030, back to June 22nd, 2010. And we noted that 1533 minus 622, that June 22nd symbol, equals 911. And then we added together all these numbers of um, during these times, there shall be many. So we add the many to that number and we get a number that's uh, 718 days less than 15475. So the 14757, I can't remember what that means now. I don't remember what, what I did there. Anyway, and then also the robbers of thy people. So when we took the word robbers, the sons of robbers, so the sons is 1121 plus H653, which is robbers, and we added them together, we get the word Shiva, 7651, which is the word that's translated as seven times in Leviticus 26, right? So what we were saying is that this connects us from the end of the prophetic year in 1863 the 126 shekels of Daniel 5 to 1989. So it brings us to the time of the end. So we're saying that we have um, this period of time in which Rome exalts itself to establish the vision, right? And then that period of time is going to be prior to the time of the end, right? So the breakers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision. So originally that's Egypt being supported by the papacy. Here it's going to be the papacy supporting the Polish trade union, right? So another symbol of, of Egypt uh, to establish uh, the vision two three seven seven. The word vision there has uh, chazon has the twenty three hundred and the seven seven together in that number. So this is something we already just understand that the chazon is going to deal with this uh, period in which the seventy weeks and the twenty three hundred days are a part of right. They're going to be a part of this vision. Okay. And, and so that's going to give us uh, 1989 to the sum, Sunday law as a symbol, uh, 723 BC to 1798, representing the two desolating powers. And they shall fall. So in 476 AD, pagan Rome falls. In 1798, papal Rome falls. And in our history, that's going to be the close of probation of the seven last plagues. Now, we also had something dealing with Daniel 11, verse 14 as a symbol and i'm trying to remember what it is in those times there shall many stand up against the king of the south also the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision if we take all the hebrew numbers together it gives us six seven nine seven five now that's going to be 55 more than six seven nine two zero which is the number of days from april april 19th 1844 to the first day of the first month in 2030. It's going to bring us 55 days past that. So, so what did we do with that? Why was that significant? 67975. Does anybody remember what we did? I uh, don't have it in here, I don't think. Okay. I'm going to leave that for now because I don't want to get bogged down in all these numbers, but we looked at that number and it was significant. So we counted up all of the, the lexical number for the verse. And then it says, the king of the north, Antiochus III, USA shall come. And that's going to bring us to this battle of Paneum. And we're going to mark this as November 9th, uh, 1989. So why are we marking November 9th, 1989 as the battle of Paneum? What does that imply? When is the battle of Raphia? If November 9th, 1989 is the battle of Paneum. If November 9th, 1989 is the Battle of Neum, when's the Battle of Raphia? Would you be applying September 11, 2001? No. 1798. February 15th, 1798. 
Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Do you understand? Because this is something that we should have understood a long time ago. We should have understood that, and, and we sort of understood it, but we just never put it in those terms. Daniel 11, verse 40, is the king of the south defeating the king of the north. Daniel 11, verse 40b, is the king of the north conquering the king of the south. A is the king of the south conquering the king of the north. Right? That's what we understood. Now, we can... Okay, go on. I just said correct. Oh, okay. Now, we did take the 67,975, and when we counted it from the time of the end in 1798, it brought us to March 27th, 1984. So we found that there was some symbols there that were important. So we're, we're, so there's a bunch of things that we still need to tie together. So we're saying that that's the Battle of Paneum, right, in the bigger line, like, you know, not not even really Jeff's line, just that bigger line, which we might call Ellen White's line. Though our history, 1989, to the Sunday Law is a zoom into the Sunday Law, right? Okay, now cast up a mount. So that's uh, economic and military pressure. And take the most fenced cities. So that's going to be the, ap the apostate Protestant churches. So this is going to be this history prior to 1989, though it's, um, you know, still connected to 1989s. And the arms of the South... Now, the arms of the South as a symbol, we, we found that this span of time is 19.89 um, years and 4.26 hours. Right? If we, we just take the decimal there. So the arms of the South brings us to 1989, right? So we can see that this arms of the South is, um, is symbolizing uh, the Soviet Union. Um, but it says the arms of the South in 1989, that's the Egyptian army under Ptolemy, Ptolemy V, but the radical left uh, shall not withstand. Now, when we're doing it this way, um, I, I think I need to, uh, like, so here we have the radical left. Actually, in this history, this is atheistic communism, right? Is the radical left when we applied it to our line at the using this as the end, but here we're using it as uh, the beginning, right? Makes sense. So it's the beginning of our line. Shall not withstand that, that word withstand, stand up. They'll lose the Battle of Pan Pania, November 9th, 1989. And neither his is not in there. It's just uh, the choicest people, that is the global elites. Neither shall there any be any strength to withstand. So the global elites, I mean, they're going to be in the history there sort of at the beginning, but it's really at the end. We're talking about at the end, they shall not be able to withstand or to stand up. And then verse 16. So we got, but he pagan Rome, the papacy that cometh against him, the United States, shall do according to his own will. And that's going to be December 25th, 1991. And none shall withstand before him uh, and will subjugate, sub, uh, that's, will subjugate Syria and become the next king of the north. In our history, this is the new world order under George Bush the first. So this is the 9-11-1990 speech. And he, pagan Rome, under Pompey the Great, representing here the papacy, shall stand in the glorious land. So we can see the parallel to Daniel 11, verse 40 to 45, which by his hand, and that word hand is a symbol of the message to the Levites, shall be consumed. And that we looked at that a lot, but now we, we have some ideas about this 3615, which nine years and 327 days. So that's going to go, the Gulf War ends February 28th, 1991, uh, to Bush the second inauguration on January 20th, 2001. That's 300, 3,615 days. Okay. So that's sort of where we finished off. Now, the one thing is if we take the lexical sum for Daniel 11, verse 16, 
It's 47,903 days. And this was an interesting point. That is, if we counted from uh, the vote dealing with the dogma of infallibility of the Pope, right? So this vote taken on July 18th, 1870, um, that if we count that number of days, it's going to bring us to September 11th, 2001. And that's what September 11th, 2001 is addressing, is the papacy conquering the United States, right? He's he's standing in the glorious land. So that's the Sunday law. But you can see that's not the actual Sunday law. That's the Sunday law that's zoomed in into our line. So you can see why that, that span of time addresses uh, July 18 as a symbol and September 11th. Okay, any final thoughts on this? Anyone, you know, if you have some observations or questions. Yeah, I got a question on okay. that chart that you had built. Um, you were working on previous. Yeah. Uh, I noticed it started in 79. Well, I had it first starting on November uh, 7th, 77. And then I changed it to July 18th, 1978. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Because I, I just remember the 66 Americans that were taken captive uh, by the Iranian militants, or they were militarized students back in 79. The okay. 66 Americans. Yeah, there the is some other history in there that we could look at. So not just these wars, but also... Um, well, there's the, freeing, the wars. there's the freeing of the hostages, too. I don't know if you know about that. Uh, At the Canadian Embassy, do you know anything about that history? I can't remember that one. Uh, I was looking, I remember the American stuff because my uh, cousin was one of the six that escaped out through the, uh, the desert during that time. By, from the, with the Canadians. American, uh, the American U.S. Embassy. I don't know how many Canadians were in there. No, no. The Canadians rescued Americans. Did they? Yeah. That's why I know about it, because I'm a Canadian, right? So yeah, it was right. huge news in Canada. So uh, just a quick... Uh, it's going to be released in 1981. Uh, January 20th, 1981. That's, that's hostages the were held for 444 days from November 4th to Yeah. It was called the Iran hostage crisis. And um, so it was Cana the Canadians who rescued them. I didn't know that. <laughs> I do know that the Americans went in and they, it was a, it was a foobar. Yeah, it, it was it it went really south. They lost a lot of yeah. the aircraft that was sent in. Yeah, so it was a joint CIA Canadian effort. Okay, right. So so in Canada, it's just like this huge thing about how great Canadians are. Right. We actually did something that Americans don't really even care about. <laughs> We're not. It's it's. It's not that we wouldn't care. <laughs> it's we don't know. We didn't recognize it. So, um, well, it is in Wikipedia. So they were transferred to the Canadian embassy. So they used a joint covert operation known as the Canadian Caper. The Canadian government, the CIA, managed to smuggle them out of Iran on January 28th, 1980, using Canadian passports and a cover story that identified them as a film crew. So I, I, I do seem to remember that. Yeah, and then there's this guy, uh, the former Canadian ambassador, Ken Taylor. He kind of looked like my dad. So people would always comment on that about my dad because they had the same curly hair. So he kind of looked like my dad, but I, I didn't really think so. But anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, so there's the Iranian uh, crisis. And so we might be able to look at that as the escape, something to do with the escape. Uh, symbols of that. So anyway, thanks for that question. Okay, well, thanks, everyone. Let's uh, close with a word of prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we are grateful for the study today, and um, we look forward to being corrected more and more. 
as we go through this time. We know, Lord, that uh, your hand has been leading and guiding us. And we ask, Lord, most of all, that uh, we can submit to your uh, spirit working upon our hearts, revealing to us our need of you. We pray for this movement and the people in it. And we just um, ask for strength for the trials ahead. Be with us throughout this day and bring us together again according to thy will. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.